Good morning. I'm having a downtime day and uh, thought that I would work in my altered book. My very much loved altered book. If you have one that you're working on too, please join me. If not, I do hope that you uh, will be enjoying my process. As you know, I'm a, uh, I'm a plastic container girl for uh, different projects that I'm working on. And so, <coughs> excuse me, pollen, yellow tree pollen to die for in North Florida. That's better. Here is my, uh, here is the uh, journal that, uh, and where we have gotten to thus far. And I was thinking that today I'm going to go over to the back and start uh, working towards the front uh, to uh, give this about a bit of balance. So, my plan today is to do backgrounds on this side, these two sides. In fact, let's see what's here. Oh yes, that's a... Um, okay. Okie dokie. Alrighty. Yes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put these two... I'm going to put these two together to make a pocket. And that's... Um, that's easy peasy. I'm going to just glue down <coughs> these... Uh, these sides. And the trick when you're working on your altered book is when you have the glue there, close the book on it so that the pages will be equalized here at the edges. It will be equalized because of the uh, weight of the book at the edges. And of course, I'm going to uh, snitch out a bit of, uh, I'm going to snitch out a bit of waxed paper in and in. And now I can uh, press closed. I've also decided that I'm going to thin the uh, the background papers even more on it, on some spots by using uh, by using napkins. So as you can, do I feel some there? Yes, yeah, just a little tiny bit. Do I feel any there? No. Okay. So we have this full size, this full page, and the front and back here. And other than that, I'm uh, not too sure. I'm wanting to get this background with tissues on here in some way, shape, or form. And then I thought, what did I think? Oh, I thought that I would, uh, would do something here. Um, this is kind of similar to what, uh, what I've just made. Um, and it features uh, my mauves and purples. And so I thought I would try, if we can, uh, if we have the time, to use some of my um, some of my papers uh, that I made when I was doing my uh, spraying into the box. And this is one of my uh, this is one of my. Uh, uh, napkins, digis, and this one is the one that I had in the box, but this one is the uh, heavier weight paper, and so I ran it off on um, my uh, little bit heavier weight um, copy paper. But first things first. Okay, over there. Now, let's have a little paper here as a uh, a safety valve. Okay, now, and there's my piece of wax paper. Good, I'm all systems go. Back here we go. Oops, I need my book 
bone to keep it open while I'm working. Okay, done. All right. Now, I'm, uh, I'm being a very, very good girl. And uh, I'm actually going to use uh, water. Uh, these are some napkins that uh, were gifted to me. And uh, I kind of thought that these were awfully pretty. Awfully, awfully pretty and just about the right size. Yes about the right size for the bottom here and this one can go over here yes that's what I'm going to do now also planning to be very good and use this uh, this water uh, dispenser here and here to start. And there we go. Oh my. Better late than never, Carol. So, this will go here and look quite nice. And let's have this one. this one. Here. This one over here. Okay, yeah. A pretty beginning. Now, beginning. Thinking I'm going to use this on these two. But what up there? What up there? Let's think about let's think about this one. Will it work? way for a moment. I like the uh, I like the greens which work well there and the green on this birdie and I'm going to take off that uh, embossed edge. I think I am at least. take off this embossed edged or make believe that we are. these away for future use. Now, let's see. Let's see where we are. Here. And maybe there. Let's take this bit of embossing off too. hope that you're having a pleasant day. I certainly am because I'm uh, playing in my altered book. Mm, 
let's just declare it. Let's just. We'll go easy peasy here and declare it and declare that, even though it's probably too high. But there are always scissors. And over here. And here. Go. Let's just do it. And I'm going to use should I use this one? I'll give it a try to making a combination making a combination of some uh, PVA and water. I think I'm going to do that. Uh, Rachel at Roxy Creations uh, does it and has great luck with it. And I do love this, uh, but it's rather dry and it would be harder to uh, spread. So I'm going to make my mixture two parts of uh, PVA, one part water, and I'm going to get out a, uh, no, I don't, maybe I don't need to get out. Yes, see, this brush is very, very old. And uh, it's not loosening up the way I want it to. So I have to find a brush to do this. I'll be right back. All right, here we have approximately two to one PVA. It's quite watery, but we'll see. We shall definitely see. Let's, uh, Let's get this down here. Uh huh. I see the difference immediately. Yeah, <clears throat> the wateriness of the glue. Okay. Let's have this one now. this down with what's left in the brush. Maybe just a smidge here. I wasn't that careful. Uh, oops, let me look at that telephone. Sorry. Bigger calls. This is a little, um, this is a little, um, what shall I say? Let me see if this makes any difference at all. Don't get too carried away. Let's not get too carried away. Now, and let's have this one up here. Get the slightest bit. This is the effect I used to get when I used um, straight. Uh, Media gel. Let's see what happens now. And let's go with the uh, with that part. Maybe just rubbing with a nice dry hand. Maybe that will do. 
liking the look very much. I am liking the look very much. Now, okay, you stay there. Go with the troops. You're in here. And didn't I just cut some of these? I'm glad that I did. trying to use um, as little as possible. Okay, 105 down. 105 down will work fine. I'm flabbergasted every time I see a, a dollar store, a dollar store book with uh, footnotes. Alrighty now. Better without adding, without adding um, more glue to the top. We'll see. Just have to see. Well, actually, I like it the way it feels, and I like the way it looks. Again. Hmm. Ooh, those go together very nicely right there. Okay. Okay, we can do that. Certainly lighter weight than um, anything that I would have had. And quite pretty. Alrighty. Now. Back that tendency that I have to goof this up. Alrighty. Let's mark 
edges. Let's mark this one. a little bit. Let's go over a little bit. Let's make sure we have some water coming out here. Do you have any water coming out, Carol? You know, we're about to find out, aren't we? This way. Is it happening? I do believe that it is. I do believe that it is. on that paper, but I'm going to uh, do some housekeeping. I'm going to uh, attach um, these green, these two sides, and I'll let this dry a little bit, and, uh, and then we'll be back to give this more consideration and to go and play in the front. Well, here we are back with some nice dry papers. It took a while because there was... Uh, there was water involved there, and uh, I think I'm happy with the fact that I discovered that uh, not putting um, the same water-based uh, PVA on top of the item, but to use my fingers to dry it down, I think it, uh, I think it made a positive uh, uh, result here. Let's just see what we have. Not too much uh, suffering on that side. Page is there. This, uh, this pocket is dried down through. And let's see what this one looks like. Well, this one's backed up against thin, fine um, uh, scrap paper, tablet scrap paper. So that, we can say, is um, mission accomplished for our first plan for the day. Now, up here, hmm, this is strong. Very strong. Not as strong. Let's plunge in. Okay. So we have, uh, we're not going to worry about the uh, writing spot for there. We're just going to uh, focus right now on, uh, on here and see what we can do. I also wanted to uh, remind myself and you that uh, this was a dollar and fifty-seven cents in uh, Walmart. Um, a few months ago, and it is um, painter's masking uh, paper, the same same way this would be. Um, it seems to be uh, it seems to be quite satiny and nice. So I hadn't used it, and I thought, well, maybe I will uh, maybe I will have a reason uh, for using it now. So I'm going to uh, liberate. I'm going to liberate some of this. and uh, tuck it over here to go back to its little spot. And I thought, well, it might, it might just be the thing. And the best way to uh, deal with this is to deal with it. Okay. All righty now. So we have some background bits. We have this 
that I thought I was going to use, and I probably will, but I'm thinking this paper and this paper might look nice uh, on these two because they're, um, they're less in your face. So let's see what we have here. I'm going to put those over here out of harm's way. And um, let's see what's, what's been uh, waiting for us here. <coughs> oh, that's a good thing. And of course, a little bit of antique music. Always, always a treat. Use this, it's the same paper. Same paper. All right, that will do for now. Let's get this here out of the way now. Absolutely yes, yes, yes. Absolutely yes. And this. Oh my goodness, it's so tender. And there. Right there and there. Okay, book bone, do your work. And here, maybe here, there, here. Um, garbage. I'm not at the point where I think that this might come in handy someday. Just can't work my head lot around that idea. So. What else do we need now? Let's get this out of the way. Let's check. Um, maybe we ought to go into the larger ones first. Maybe we'll the larger ones first. work nicely with the background there. Let's do it this way. Possibil a possibility. Back here. Hmm. Like the color there. have a kind of a shade of mold that I like there. Let's use that. And then let's have a let's have a look see. thinking yes. Just because there's a limit to the amount of time that this baby is going to uh, stay in existence. It's quite
quite fragile. Just for pretty. Just for pretty. And what about this under here? something to think about. Something to think about. I don't need that. We have a lot of words. Okay. You? Over there. Small goodies. Hmm. I'm gonna do it this way so that you can see what's in there. Better. Sorry about that. Let's go over there. Okay. I'm sorry you didn't remind me. Hmm. Hmm. Thurber. Eons ago. Definitely eons ago. I don't feel any. Oopsie daisy. Oopsie daisy. Okay. You too. You're gone. Hmm. I'm not thinking. To take up with that. I'm not thinking I need to rethink this, I might just use that as the lining. Use that as the lining. For this. Wouldn't that be a pretty tuck? Wouldn't that just be a pretty tuck? I think it would. Yes, I think it would. Out of my way. No. down there. Might be. Let's get back over here, Carol. Let's focus. I can't believe you can focus for more than three minutes in a row. Okay. Could be. Yes, I think so. Mm -hmm. 
he's thinking so. We have plenty of script, we have music. I think what we need to do now is find find something I know that there was some purple in here I know that there was some purple in here Possibility, isn't it? Uh oh. Look what I found. Did I find a treasure? Maybe. Maybe I found a treasure. Maybe I found a treasure. See if we found a treasure or not. I'm going to uh, rip it because I think that's what it needs to have there. Is that a treasure? Let's just see. I'm going to declare that a treasure. Yes, I am. But I'm also going to do some stamping in purple, in purple, purple, right there. Yes. Anything else in here in purple, purple? Don't think so. All right, there. Now, stamping in purple, purple. Let's have that. Our choices. And I know that deep down in here there is a stays on. Royal purple. There we go. Stay 
Maison Royal Purple it is. That puppy hasn't been used very often. Now, let's, let's see. Need something small. Don't need a stamp the size of Milwaukee. And of course this to test. Feathers and buggies. All right, let's uh, let's give this one a look. See. declare that to be an iris. I'm thinking. Yes, I do that sometimes. Not too often, but this is one of them. Let's see about, about this. Well, if we're not going to just call that an iris, I don't know what would be. Yay, Team Carol. Team Carol, yes. All right. Now, it was I wanted to be like this. I've just decided that. Okay, on this empty line in the center of the script is where it's going to have its home. And this is going to be on top of it, over here. So we need about two-thirds. We need about two-thirds. Let's do a little cheat. All right, now. second rule. No, I don't. Oh my goodness. Happiness is now. Nothing too special. on my planet now. Up here. Up here. And where? What? There we go. You go here. And then One more. One more. There. One more it is.
sorry, I'm quiet, I'm thinking. Okay. Thinking, thinking. Just going to have to declare that absolute spot that I wanted it on. And I want to try to keep this uh, these embellishments thin so that uh, this does not become the biggest altered book journal on the planet and parallel to the bottom of the page please there we go and now This one is first. This one is first. Do I or don't I? Do I or don't I? No, I want that white. I want that whiteness to be uh, to be there. I don't want to uh, distress. Not every piece of paper on the planet needs to be distressed. Edges, 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 top, edges. Okay. There. Up, 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 up. There you go. There you go. Here. 
so much for that one. Let's see about fine-tuning this a little bit. Maybe. That will just have to do. It's down here, just the littlest bit. Let's not overdo that. Yeah. I remember when I first did this with stays on a couple of years ago. I just thought it was the answer to everything. That was before Distress Ink landed in my world. Which was the difference between uh, up and down. Now. Now and now. Okay. So I'm going to... Uh, do a little housekeeping with this, and uh, I'll be right back. Oh, I love, love, love having a brainstorm. And I had one. Oh, I love a good brainstorm. Especially when uh, I'm thinking out of the box brainstorm. When I say, why not, and how many of us in pursuit of this joy have thought to ourselves, well, maybe, well, maybe, oh, why not? This is a brainstorm with a big why not attached. going to stop. I was going to clean up so that we could do show and tell. And I guess it wasn't meant to be. And it tore. The iris tore very nicely, which really was the... Uh, If it hadn't worked with the tearing, I don't think the brainstorm would have worked. Well, we don't know whether it's going to work yet. You will let me know in comments, I'm sure. Garbage. Okay. Come on, come on. This will not suit. There we go. That's better. Perfection, but better. 
not to perfection, but better. So, I'm not going to use those scissors for damp glue. Mm -mm. This comes love to be there. Oops, let's not do something ugly, Carol. Comes love, yes. Raise that a little bit, a little more. Cheat line. Cheating line. This is PVA mixed with water. And just about the best thing I've done in a long time. Loving this fine line, loving everything about it. Um, wax paper. Paper to save the day. Here it is. Okay, fingers so oh yeah 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 fingers so crossed. Fingers so crossed. Fingers so crossed. Yes, it's open. Yay. Magic needle. Oh, 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 oh. Too much glue. Did it work? Did it work? Yay. Okay, now I'm happy. Okay, clean up time, I'll be right back. Well, here we are with show and tell for today using uh, a napkin on this uh, back spread in the uh, at this side, end of the book, which makes things um, hopefully come out a little bit more evenly. And so, very tickled with the way those napkins worked, and I'm also have learned about um, uh, application of the uh, PVA and water mixture works beautifully. Uh, but I don't like the effect of the uh, water, uh, the PVA water on top of this, uh, of the napkin. It makes the napkin feel so much nicer uh, and so much flatter. So live and learn. And then uh, today's fun. Have this page and they were rather busy so I had to uh, I had to tone them down and sink them down I did enjoy finding this one and uh, using the little uh, stays on uh, stamp on this piece of uh, masking paper from uh, Walmart and I had this left over in the bin and this is a uh, I have a nice tuck spot in here now and um, this, of course, is a pocket uh, between these uh, between these two pages, 
and let's see what we have going here. Oh, not too much of a problem. Nothing that cannot be remedied. Thank heavens. Okay. Yeah, I should have thought of that. The queen of waxed paper lost her opportunity to uh, have it uh, have it do its doing its thing. But uh, this, when this is completely dry, I'll get an, um, an emery board and rub that just a smidge. It, because it's all totally on the inside. Thank goodness. So we have the tuck spot here, and we have a uh, a tab to turn to this uh, next section that we will be uh, that we will be working on. If you have enjoyed today's uh, altered book journal adventure, please give me a thumbs up leave a comment and I do answer them and I would appreciate your subscribing to my channel. Let's have a little uh, let's have a little close up now and yes it is uh, it's open and uh, I put a writing spot in there and I've had this for quite a while and now it's found a home and uh, under that tuck in this little pretty piece I don't know why, but I have to have that one. And a piece of the antique uh, French uh, music paper. Stamps on masking paper from Walmart. A piece of leftover I don't know what. And this bit from the, uh, the uh, same book that this one came out of. By now. See you soon.